Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break of 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Football. This is pick your team number five, so it's from a half case from a fresh master. Thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action on a Saturday night. Liam with double last spot mojo here. Triple last spot mojo, and there's everybody else. Thanks for getting in. Good luck. We've got the second half of the case in the store, and I think we've got time to do that tonight if we want to run that back. We also have the second half of Contenders that we did last night. We can run that back tonight, too. All right. One, two, three, we're select a die. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's gonna be six. So we'll do the right side there. And just stronger marker here. I never have the pens I need. Oh, there's one back, hiding back here, I got it. All right, so this will be for, so we're doing break five here. This will be break six right here. So we'll mark those number six. So those are all sixes right there. Set that over here for now. And let's do Let's do these. One autograph per box on average. Maybe we'll find some above average boxes in here. Good luck, everybody. This is Pick Your Team 5 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Five-star baseball coming up after this. And then we'll do Revolution Basketball after that. And that should bring us to around the last hour of the broadcast which doesn't leave us very much time for a lot of breaks. So, figure let's figure out what we want to rally behind. Let's see what we want to rally behind and then let's make let's make it happen. Could we do another optic football? Yes, we can. Can we do a National Treasures baseball? Yes. We can. Can we fill up two cello pack breaks and then open up that collegiate, flawless collegiate basketball break? Chasing uh, collegiate Zions. Yes, we can. But we have to kind of start hustling now and get those spots filled up. First to fill, first to break. Whatever we don't get to, we'll do, we'll do tomorrow, of course. Gilo, what's up? I have decided on my picks for tomorrow. First of all, who does everyone else have for tomorrow? Tennessee at Kansas City. Just straight up or you know, if you if you like the point stuff and you can do it that way, but however you like. Rebel says Chiefs. Well, we're not the NFC game yet, Gila. We got we got a lot of boxes to go. So Logan's in the house as well. Chiefs. Gilo says Chiefs. Wayne says Chiefs. Tonin says Chiefs. Logan thinks Titans. There's DK Metcalf. Nice rated rookie hollow for the Seahawks. That'll be for Sal. Alvin Kamara to 99. Steven Olsen thinks Chiefs as well. There's Amani Hooker. Blackout says Chiefs. We're just talking AFC right now for the moment. Um, well, here's who I have. There's Leonard Fournette. For entertainment purposes only, I would like the Titans plus the points. I think it's going to be a close game. 
There's Alshon Jeffrey to 299. Ultimately, I think Kansas City is gonna gonna win. I mean, you got to think that. You you got to think that. Uh, I mean, can can Derrick Henry keep it up? I guess that's the big question, and that's where we'll all win or lose. Alexander Baker with the Justice Hill. And a DK Metcalf autograph. Nice rated rookie auto going to Sal and the Seahawks. Seventeen out of one fifty. Very nice. Ed Oliver rated rookie to two ninety nine for the Bills. Nice, and we'll get these sleeved and top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out. Let's move on to the next box really quick. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna breeze through these. Does Derrick Henry slow down? I mean, these guy, guys getting a lot of carries, running a lot of yards. They're, they're on their, what, third third road game in a row? With this one from week 17 or the final week of the season to the first wild card round now to this in Kansas City. How do they hold up there? Maybe they get tired. I don't know. Tannehill not throwing a lot of yards. Derrick Henry doing all the work. The heavy lifting. Tennessee doesn't like to kick anything. No field goals for them. But a lot of touchdowns. Big playability. A.J. Brown. I mean, they're a pretty solid team. Yeah, and I'm not. Yeah, Kansas City defense. I know. I know. If you listen, if you listen to the to the talking heads on ESPN and whatnot, here's the thing: they're gonna say that the Kansas City defense is much improved the second half of the season. But look at the teams they've been playing. They're not not very impressive teams. Titans is a great. Titans have with Tannehill managed to get a great offense. Kansas City is probably the weakest defense that the Titans have faced. Axios is saying. I agree, Fred. You're right, Mr. Mike Saddy. KC can't stop the run. But Tennessee can't stop the pass. The secondary is a little bit of a weak spot for a good defense. They're, listen, they're a good defense. Their secondary is a lot better than a lot of other teams. But, but for splitting hairs here in the AFC Championship game. But Gilo's countering, listen, if Kansas City scores 30 points, they can't use Henry. But Tennessee, the type of team that's going to give up 30, 30 points. Now, I personally think that it's, it's going to go over the total, but, a, but I'm terrible at totals. A lot of people who are much smarter than I am have saying, are thinking that this game's going to go under. There's Jay Sternberger for the Packers. Ultimately, that leads me to believe that I think this is going to be a close game. We'll talk about the NFC game in a little bit. Matthew Stafford to 199. Nick Bosa to 299. Chiefs only lost. And full disclosure, Gilo's a Chiefs fan. Chiefs only lost last time because they shot themselves in the foot, in your opinion. But what's that? What's up with the? What's up with that weird record that Andy Reid and the Chiefs are like one and eight against the Titans in whatever their last ten, nine, ten meetings? What's up with that? Not having this guy is going to hurt a little bit too. There's Matthew Stafford to 50. And speaking of the Lions, Axios, Fred is saying that Matt Patricia showed how to beat KC. Lions have on, on the ropes. Titans can close where the Lions couldn't. Tom Brady, Silver, we'll set those aside too. Quadri Allison to 199. And your autograph is for the Patriots. 7 out of 10, Jarrett Stidham. Mark Matheson of the Pats. Wayne is not sold on the Titans. Tannehill still isn't a good QB under pressure. Henry can't carry the whole team the entire... That's what I'm concerned about, Henry being able to carry that team. Four 
But yes, Wayne, regardless, it will be a New England free Super Bowl. Yeah. I think it's going to be, I, I personally think, and, and you know, my, my picks, have, picks have not been impressive in this playoffs, but I'll still stick to my guns in my opinion. I think it's going to be a close game. I think even if Kansas City is up by like, you know, let's say they're up by 14 points, you know, by the time the fourth quarter rolls around and they're in control the entire game, you don't think uh, Tannehill to A.J. Brown on that sort of softer KC defense, you're not going to get a backdoor cover there? Maybe even a, a win for t Titans fans? Someone mentioned the other day, yeah, KC game plan stacked the box, right? So, but someone mentioned the other day that the Ravens tried to stack the box on Derrick Henry. Look what he did to them. That's why that's why that team's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's all gonna be Derrick Henry. It's it's, it's how the Titan how Derrick Henry goes. The Titan goes. If he gets over 20, 20 if he gets twenty twenty five carries, maybe more. I mean, they'll be in good shape. But I mean, could you stack the box though, and but then then have Tannehill let Tannehill throw to AJ Brown? That's a, that's a little. Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking, I think. It's a little nerve-wracking. Gilo, are you Gabe? Are you going to that game? Are you going to the game tomorrow? Matt Ryan to ninety-nine, but yeah, there is the crowd. T.J. Hawkinson, silver, rated rookie. Yeah, I know. I saw that Juan Thornhill earlier. I was like, ooh, no Juan Thornhill. That could be an issue. There's AJ Green to 299. Camara looked different for. That's going to ship, but it just looked different for, for a moment there. Zach Allen, rookie hollow. Juju Smith Schuster to 25. 24 out of 25. Nice one for the Steelers. Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. You might be going actually nice. Well, we'll have to touch base again next week, see how that game went. Tyree Jackson to 150. Rebel says he wasn't in the last game. I think we'll be fine. Hard telling that. I, yeah, I, I expect the, I expect the Chiefs to win outright. I think if uh, if you may want to, if you're into this sort of thing for entertainment purposes only, if you can find uh, your your a, a book that has player props on there, over 142 rushing yards for Derrick Henry, over 104 rushing yards could get you plus money. Check that out. That could be interesting. I like Meikle Hardman over 21 and a half yards. Devin Bush to 99. You know what I also D Rob over 17 and a half yards. Telling me that Demarcus Robinson can't catch like a random one target, one catch, 20 yards. Done. There's Devin Bush autograph for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. All right. Next one. Oh, halfway through this half case break, NFC time. What did, what did I see before? A lot of people saying Niners, right? G Lo was saying Chiefs Niners. Uh, J Mac 97L saying Go Pack Go. Wayne's got Green Bay as well. Eastwood says Niners. Steven Olsen says Niners. 
Blackout saying Packers money line or the points if you do if you're into that sort of thing. What does everyone have there? Let's and anyone else who hasn't responded yet, if you want to weigh in. Green Bay at San Francisco. Now, I was thinking to myself, who is the underdog most likely to win? I don't think that's going to be Green Bay. I'm on the Niners. I know I've been poo-pooing the Niners all season long, saying they're underrated or overrated and they're over... But I also think the Packers, to a certain extent, are maybe a little more overrated than the Niners even. So I've taken the lesser of two evils, I suppose. Although Rodgers can still do Rodgers things. That's the scary part. You know, Garoppolo could freeze up. I mean, how how sharp how sharp did he look last year? Or last game? Not super sharp. That defense is in incredible though. If they can limit Aaron Jones and frustrate Devontae Adams, that's it. Those are the, those those two guys are it. Unless unless Jimmy Graham turns back the clock. Yeah, Gilo thinks Niners got to be the most balanced team left. Ty says Seahawks will be there next year. TJ Leonard says Niners win, but a lot closer than the last matchup. How much closer is TJ Leonard? TJ Leonard's a Niners guy. I'm on your Niners this time this week. Minus seven and a half. There's Julian Edelman, silver, hollow, hollow that is. I think hollow and optic and silver in prison. Something like that. There's Gary Ann Conley, my Raiders to 199. Just got my Raiders in this one. That goes to AJ Anderson. We got Raquel Armstead, hollow, rookie hollow. Byron Murphy to 299. Cardinals. All right, there's Garoppolo. We're just talking about Garoppolo right here. We got Mark Ingram the second to 150 for the Ravens. And Dexter Williams is your autograph. 57 out of 60. Packers. Jonathan McClay with Green Bay. Seven points or less, TJ Leonard. <laughs> but, but, I, but I laid the points. Minus seven and a half. That's not the answer I wanted to hear. <laughs> he, this, this is, he is a bad, bad man, though. I mean, there's Jordan Scarlett to 199. Justice Hill, Hollow. You meant ten or more. Thanks, T.J. Leonard. I have, I have, I have, uh, I have pizza money on the game. Maybe, uh, maybe I can get another, get another pizza if they win. Phil Rivers to fifty, and two more boxes to go. Uh, all in all, I, I think, I think they're they're both going to be great games. I'm looking forward to both games. Titans at Chiefs is going to be a lot of fun. Green Bay at Niners, a lot of fun. Um, I personally think that any combination of teams I would enjoy in the Super Bowl. Right? I don't think I'd mind seeing any of the teams in the Super Bowl. Oh, you're welcome, Logan. Cello's gone? Nice. Let's add that to the schedule. Now remember, we need to do one more cello in order for us to do the uh, collegiate break, which I think we can do.
But like, think about it. If it's if it's Tennessee, Green Bay, you get to see Derrick Henry and Aaron Rodgers in in the uh, in the Super Bowl. If it's Tennessee Niners, you know you see you see Derrick Henry, Garoppolo, Kittle, that defense, Nick Bosa in the Super Bowl, and just the deep history of the Niners. So new against old, right? If it's if it's Chiefs Packers, right? Mahomes versus Aaron Rodgers. Woo! That that'd be a matchup. That's probably the one the TV networks want. If it's if it's Chiefs Niners, that's still good too. Chiefs Niners. Mahomes against the Niners defense. That's a great storyline. There's storylines everywhere. What would be what's the best result for the hobby? That would be Mahomes winning. That'd be Mahomes winning it all. I think that would be what's best for the hobby. If Mahomes wins it all, all that 2017 product would be bananas. Oh, nice, Logan. Logan, you got a bet. Logan, Logan's a big Packers guy. Logan, what, 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 do, what do you think about Packers' chances tomorrow as underdogs? Right, congrats on the bat, too. Dakota Allen, rookie silver. Ben Rothsberger to 150. Indeed, Tony, I already got it on the schedule. She gone. Er Smith Jr. Silver. Joan Williams to 99. Remember, we gotta do one more of those cellos if we wanna. Wait, are we giving away both spots in that or just one spot in that? Oh no, the top two spots. One spot. So flaws collegiate is gonna happen. My bad. I'll read my own item description. All right. There you go. So now we're, we're as the schedule stands, we're down to the last half hour of the broadcast. We can squeeze in. I don't know what we can we can do at this point. What about, we still have time for NT baseball if we fill that up. We've got time for another 8 by 10 break if you want to do that. We started the day with that. We can end the day with that. If contender sells out, we can do it. Looks like both Optic second half of this break and the second half of that Contenders break we did last night are both in single digits. We only have time to do one of those. So whatever first to fill, first to break on that. So we've got options for the last half hour of the show, but make it happen, folks. Richard Sherman. Marquise Brown. 8 out of 25. Hollywood Brown. For the Purple Birds. That'll go to Alexander Baker. Nice. Ben Rothsberger to 299. Debo Samuel to 150. Miko Harbin, rated rookie in that velocity design. All right. Do I think the Packers will be able to run it all? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Aaron Jones is no slouch. That guy's pretty good. But can he run enough? That, that defense is, is, is pretty strong. Do we think... Is Aaron Jones better than Dalvin Cook? Go 
What do we think about that? Is the who's the better offensive line? I think that game's going under, by the way. I think there's going to be a surprising amount of points in Kansas City on both on both sides. But I think we're definitely going under in this one. I think both teams want to run. Niners defense is obviously elite. Packers defense is pretty solid. Aaron Rodgers won't be able to sling it all over the place against against the Niners. They're not going to be not going to be able to run as effectively as they want to. At the same time, I think Green Bay defense can can pester Jimmy Garoppolo, who I think may be not probably the lowest rated quarterback of the QBs remaining. Right, so I don't know if he's going to be able to really pick apart like the Packers defense. I think I think the narrative to me anyway, the narrative would would certainly be under for entertainment purposes only. Tonin says Nick Bosa three sacks tomorrow. That would be a good day for him. Three sacks. Bobby Wagner, hollow. Last box here, ladies and gentlemen. Got a pack slate for the rest of the night. Got about a half hour left in the show. It's Jalen Hurd. Hollow rated rookie. Well, it's going to be a fun day of football, ladies and gentlemen. Join us tomorrow. Zach Allen to 150. When you think both Jimmy G and... Aaron Rodgers puts up 600 plus yards of passing. Man, if you believe that, I feel like you can, you can get some pretty good. Uh, I feel like you can get pretty good odds on that. Ryan Finley to 299. I mean, anything can happen in the playoffs. Two out of five. Christian Wilkins, out of five and under, get the train whistle. That goes to. Michael uh, Michael Watson and the Miami Dolphins. Michael, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. David Johnson to one ninety nine. I mean, maybe if 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 the Packers are like down by like twenty points or something like that. Going into the half, I mean, maybe Aaron Rodgers could just come out firing and just rack up the yards. And if the Niners make the mistake of getting a little conservative, oh, there's your downtown from downtown. That's Philip Rivers downtown. That goes to Michael Gallucci and the Chargers. There you go, Steel Curtain. If you're wondering what Los Angeles looks like, that's exactly what it looks like. If you ever come visit us, you fly into LAX, there's just director chairs all over the place, movie cameras. You know, there, there, there's a lot. I don't know, what is that on the right side? I don't know what that is. Something's happening here. Maybe oil, there are some oil derricks around. I'm not sure what that is. Palm trees, water towers, the Warner Brothers water towers. We've got movie studios here. So there you go. Palm trees. Palm trees, Tonin. I mean, this one looks more like. We got Minka Fitzpatrick to 99. One out of 75, Zach Allen, Cardinals. Evan with the Cardinals on the board. And there you have it, folks. And we close out with Jordan, Scarlett, Kennedy, O'Hara, Butler, Wilkes. At the very end. And there you go, boys and girls. That was the first half of the case. Donris Optic Football. Pick your team five. Second half is in the store. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.